Hello and welcome to Roving Report, a program that gives you an overview of the developments in India's Northeast region. I'm your host Nidhi and the highlights of today's program are A new initiative on the lines of Make in India in Manipur gives employment to youth. All villages in Assam to get electricity by end of 2017. Birju Maharaj holds Kathak workshop in Agartala. A new venture in Manipur state has started an alternative yet innovative dairy-based products. It is producing healthy milk, curd and ice cream from soya bean. The unit is providing employment to a large unskilled labour force. We have a report. A new venture in India's northeastern region of Manipur has started soy milk production in the state. M soy products are not only vegetarian, they are also alternative to dairy based products. Soya milk, soya paneer, soya curd, and soya ice cream are now becoming popular in the state. Actually, this venture is coming from a sort of idea. I was traveling somewhere, I was traveling outside the countries, and we found that nowhere means that the area or that the location there doesn't have any cow or cow milk so how they are living they also need milk so i found it that they are using coconut milk soy milk or any other costly vada milks and the soy milk is the same as the milk and potentials and the proteins and the everything is same so i have the idea yes we can do that in here also in Manipur also, we can do the same products. We, why we can't? Because uh, we need also milk. Everyone needs milk. And Manipur having a very shortage of milk as well as dairy products. So we are just, I'm coming up with this idea to making a small plant over here for the soya milk. The new venture, which gives employment to unemployed youth, has been set up on the lines of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Make in India initiative. Besides, it is also contacting local farmers for the farming of soya bean so that it can help meet the demand. At present, the company has employed 10 people who are both skilled and non-skilled. The basic idea of installation of soya milk production is in Manipur. Is that to give the empowerment, first of all. To give the empowerment. Right now, I have a small mini farm. So I am employing very low people, but as of now, after a while, after a month, after a year, we are giving such people empowerment. Besides creating opportunities for locals to gain employment, such ventures also provide skill training to people to empower them. Now we take you to a village in Assam where people rejoice after they get electricity as a New Year gift. The Assam government has pledged to provide electricity to all the villages in the state by the end of this year. We have a report. Meloi Bari a remote and discreet hamlet in Kamrup metropolitan district of Assam where amenities are far off the reach of inhabitants here. The villagers, mostly small farmers, got a surprise with the onset of New Year. Now, every household has electricity provided by the government under Dindayal Upadhyay Gram Jyoti Yojana. The youth of the villages are happy as electricity will help them accomplish various tasks. मैं जब मैट्रिक दिया था तभी तो बिजली नहीं था तभी मैं मुझे पढ़ने में बहुत दिक्कत हुई थी जैसे रात को रात को ठंडी में ठंड में पढ़ना नहीं जाता तो बिजली नहीं है कैसे पढ़ूँगा गर्म के दिन तो तो मैं तो रात को सोना ही नहीं सो नहीं जाता इतना गर्मी थी अभी तो बिजली देकर गवर्नमेंट ने बहुत अच्छा किया। आज फर्स्ट टाइम यहाँ पे बिजली आए हम भी बाहर ही रहते बहुत दिन बाद आने के बाद देखा मैंने यहाँ पे बिजली आया है तो बहुत अच्छा लगा और बहुत सारे यहाँ पे काम बाकी है जो हमारा प्रॉब्लम देता है सबसे पहले ये रास्ता है जो भी हो बिजली सरकार ने काम किया है जो बिजली हम लोगों को सत्तर साल का इंतजार से बचपन से हम लोग बाहर जाते तो देखते हैं कि बिजली होता है यहाँ पे आते तो अंदर में रहना पड़ता है और ये सुविधा मिला तो अच्छा लगा और सबसे बड़ा बात अभी हम लोगों को रास्ता चाहिए 
The Assam government has submitted a proposal to the center for total electrification in the state and the project would be executed in a phased manner and it would cover all revenue and forest villages. There are 1076 villages that are yet to be electrified of which 508 are on grid and the rest are off grid villages. हम ये भी संकल्प किए हुए हैं कि हम बाय 2017 हम जितने भी गांव हैं सब गांव पे हम लोग इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन करने के लिए हम लोगों ने सारा कुछ किया है और हम लोग करवाएंगे और तीसरा हो गया हम लोग इंटेंसिफाइड इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन के ऊपर भी जोर दे रहे हैं 10000 गांव हम लोगों ने सिलेक्ट किया है जहां पे हम लोग टोटल गांव को पूरी तरीके से हम लोग इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन करने के लिए हम लोगों ने काम किया हुआ है Many villages in Assam still lack facilities like sanitation, roads, schools and health services. However, the government is providing financial support to build toilets and roads, but an action plan is required on war footing so that villages can access basic facilities. Now let's take you to the city of Jorhat in Assam where the Festival of Ethnic 2017 was held with great zeal and enthusiasm. Take a look. Jorhat's own annual tourism festival, the colourful and scintillating event of Ethnic 2017 has presented the distinct culture of Mishing tribe of Assam and Arunachal Pradesh along with the lively and eye-capturing performances by the Angami tribe of Nagaland. The event was organised by the Institution for Cultural and Rural Development. More than 170 aspiring artists, mostly school dropouts, participated in this festival this year. The dance by the Angami from Kohima, Nagaland was also one of the major attractions in the festival. The dance troops have performed for the entire day at the end of the three-day program. The participating artists were happy to be part of this year's ethnic fest as they could showcase their traditional dance beyond their home state. Firstly, it's a very nice experience and then we get to learn many things. We have so many, uh, we, uh, we have made so many friends and then it's uh, very nice to adapt into a new environment. And then this is our cultural dance. They are doing a merrymaking dance, which is uh, part of the Angami tribe. Uh, it is common among the Angami Naga tribes of Nagaland. The motto behind this festival was to showcase the living heritage of various tribes in the northeast region. The festival has played a pivotal role in promoting several tribal communities and to give a platform to artists, talented youngsters and village youth from such areas. The beginning when we started was totally new concept and nobody really knew what it was all about except myself. And I was the only one who was the initiator, the creator, the designer and everything else. Now as time goes on, now the staff, students, public, everybody is understanding much more what is the thing going on inside here. The dance performances combined with rituals and celebrations like Mishing Cultural Dances, Saloya, Nebu Sodam, Lareli, Gumrag entertained and informed visitors about Mishing tribe's culture. Pagbam dance, known as floating dance on water, was a special attraction in the festival. What I find is that uh, in a place like this, a uh, small organization is organizing a festival so gigantic, it is really impressive. Also, a community that is performing so many varieties of dances is also very impressive. And uh, this year there's also an added culture of the Nagas. The festival was a treat for culture lovers. Ethnic 2017 turned out to be one of the most successful festivals in the Northeast region and has motivated other parts of the region to organize such festivals in order to embrace their culture and ethnicities. Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. 
a strategic group meeting of the unified command structure focused on increasing activities of Jamaatul Mujahideen Bangladesh and other insurgent groups in Assam. The security meet discussed about tightening vigil across the state in view of forthcoming Republic Day as well as steps to boost security along the India-Bangladesh border in the state. It may be mentioned that close to 40 cadres and linkmen of JMB have been nabbed in different parts of Assam in the last few years. Some of the apprehended cadres have been linked with the Burdwan blast case. Home Ministry Joint Secretary Satendra Garg was present along with Assam Chief Secretary VK Peparsenia, Home Commissioner LS Changson and top officials of other security agencies, including the Indian Army. The security meet also discussed capacity building of security forces, use of modern technology in counter-insurgency operations and militant activities along the Assam Nagaland, Assam Meghalaya and Assam Arunachal Pradesh borders. We discussed the entire security scenario in not only Assam but uh, all over virtually northeast. So this was an experience. and. Uh, I mean, basically, security situation, particularly in view of the forthcoming uh, Republic Day, like, uh, and all agencies control. Three-day children festival was recently organized by Kids Worship Center at Maple Tree School in Dimapur. Speakers from USA, Switzerland, Taiwan, Singapore, and resource persons from different parts of the country participated in the event. Apart from delegates and parents, children also took part in the event. More than 300 children participated in the festival. Workshops for parents were also held during the fest. The main highlights of the event were workshops on various topics, face paintings and several games. We are really excited to come here. We have met many friends, even though some of us may be sometimes naughty. We, we still love it here and we did all this face painting and we, had, we have lots of games. We praise the Lord here. The Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal, in the presence of Donor Minister Dr. Jitender Singh and Union Minister of State for Home Affairs, Shikiran Rijiju inaugurated the Digidhan Mela in Guwahati. The two-day Digidhan Mela was organized with an aim to enable citizens and merchants to familiarize and adopt real-time digital transactions. On the occasion, Sonowal launched Toka Pesa e-wallet for initiative towards cashless economy. The Mela was organized by the Government of Assam in collaboration with the IT Department and Niti Aayog. On the occasion, Union Minister Kiran Rijiju said that India is transforming and converting to digital transactions. The Northeast region must give a hand to transforming India and for the development of nation. In a bid to tackle armed insurgents in their jungle hideouts, around 194 commandos of Assam police are being trained in counter-insurgency techniques and other nuances of jungle warfare. The commandos are being given training under the supervision of CRPF at Assam Commando Battalion headquarters at Mandakata. The commandos took part in a jungle warfare demonstration at the premises. They were given training in carrying wounded soldiers while climbing a steep wall camouflage, concealment, ambush and counter-ambush techniques, among others, emits rounds of applause from the onlookers. Assam Police ADGP, AK Sina Kashyap, ADGP Administration, KV Singh Dew and other senior police officials were present on the occasion. In the commando training is tough, it's very hard. 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 एक्सट्रीमिस्ट का जो गतिविधियां आजकल बढ़ गया है नास्टिस्ट में वैसे भी आसाम में जब आसाम में एक्सट्रीमिस्ट का जब ज़्यादा ये था तो उसी टाइम कमांडो का राइज हुआ 96 में तो उसके बाद काफी हद तक कमांडो जो बटालियन है एक किया आसाम में उसने काफी हद तक कंट्रोल किया तो उसी को हम लोग मैनेज करते हुए आगे इसको बढ़ रहा है। Targan community of Arunachal Pradesh recently celebrated Saidoini festival with great fervor and gaiety in Nahar Lagoon. The festival is celebrated every year by the community for the well-being of mankind. Parliamentary Secretary for UD and Land Management Techi Kaso urged all the senior members of the community to impart their traditional knowledge and wisdom to their younger generation so that they can carry forward their tradition and culture ahead. Um, 
हमारे लोग खेती पे ही निर्भर है हमारे जो खेती है उसका जो प्रोडक्शन है वो अच्छा रहे उसका कामना के लिए हम हमारे जो बिलीव है दोनों पोलों को दोनों पोलों को हम प्रार्थना करते हैं कि हमें जो आने वाले सालों में हमें अच्छा प्रोडक्शन दे हम सुख शांति से रहे मिल के रहे यही हमारा बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव है इस सेलिब्रेशन को मनाने का Now let us talk about the weekly shifting markets in Nagaland which not only is convenient for shoppers but also gives employment opportunities to a large section of the society. We have a report for you. One can avail everything from fresh organic vegetables and fruits collected from nearby jungles to domesticated or wild animals from flowers of all varieties to second hand clothes and perhaps everything a rich or poor person needs can be found in this weekly dimapur market the weekly market shifts to another colony or locality every other day it not only brings essentials of daily life to the doors of consumers giving them respite from traveling long distances across hills but also gives them an opportunity to earn from themselves by being a part of the market as a seller one can see many homemakers out in the open selling all kinds of stuff a lot of them believe that this idea of shifting the market has enhanced their lifestyle and they have been earning a substantial amount ever since this practice started ami tin mal bazar supermarket sanibar bazar sabai jagah ma gaira सब्जी बिक्री करें फैमिली पाले दुख सुख कर बस को काफ़ी सस्ता मिल जाता है हम लोगों को और लोकल प्रोडक्ट्स भी मिलता है यहाँ पे तो बहुत अच्छा है ये और कम दाम में भी मिलता है आ, ऐसे तो बहुत बड़ा है मार्केट और लेकिन और थोड़ा शेड ये हो जाने से लाइट का फैसिलिटीज हो जाने से ये हमारे लिए और अच्छा हो जाएगा पीपल हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कवर्ड दीज वीकली मार्केट एज अ प्लेस फॉर सोशलाइजिंग अकूनो who brings fermented soya beans meticulously wrapped in plantain leaves for sale to the market loves the crowd and has also motivated her friends to join her and she has now a place where business and gossiping move hand in hand akuno earlier used to get bored sitting at home but now sells her beans worth rupees 1000 in the weekly market and also manages to spend quality time with her friends The innovative idea of a shifting market has brought cheers to all, and everybody in Dimapur is happy with this improvisation. The UNC imposed indefinite blockade in Manipur in protest against the government's plan to create two new districts has made the life of the locals difficult. People are suffering due to shortage of goods and essential commodities. However, government at the center is making an all-out effort to ensure availability of the essential commodities to the people. A report. The deadlock in northeastern state of Manipur continues as the economic blockade imposed on two of its lifeline national highways has crippled lives of the people. Due to the blockade, goods carrying vehicles are unable to enter states in Fall Valley, resulting in extreme crisis of essential commodities including fuel and medicines. Students, businessmen, general public everyone is facing hardships due to economic blockade. Businessmen community is the one most affected who have not been able to make their meets end due to months blockade. अभी माल बहुत शॉर्टेज हो रहा है बाजार में हम लोग इतना मुश्किल से माल ला ला के बेचता है अभी जैसे दाम भी आलू भी सत्रह रुपए के जी बेच रहा है पर के जी लेकिन पहले तो बीच में तो तीस रुपया भी हो गया था अभी हम लोग इतना मुश्किल से माल मंगा मंगा के बेच रहा है ब्लॉकेट के बाद है ना ये पब्लिक वो बिजनेस वाला सब बेकार ये है न सामान तो दूसरा स्टेज से आने के बाद है ना ये बाजार में थोड़ा थोड़ा मिलता है ना सर आइटम कुछ नहीं मिलता है ना यूनाइटेड नागा काउंसिल एंड अम्ब्रेला ग्रुप ऑफ नागाज हैड बीन इम्पोजिंग इकोनॉमिक ब्लॉकेट ऑन नेशनल हाईवे टू एंड थर्टी सेवन सिंस नवंबर वन यूनाइटेड नागा काउंसिल हैज बीन प्रोटेस्टिंग अगेंस्ट द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट डिसीजन टू क्रिएट सेवन न्यू डिस्ट्रिक्ट पीपल आर सफरिंग ड्यू टू अडन इंक्रीज इन द प्राइस ऑफ फ्यूल 
Long queues can be seen outside the petrol pumps where people can be seen waiting for long hours. सारे तीन बजे से इधर से खड़ा हो तो हम लोग को तो बहुत तकलीफ है क्योंकि एक लीटर का पेट्रोल मिलने के लिए वो तो बहुत लंबी क्यू से वो तो खड़ा ना पड़ेगा With the United Naga Council declaring to further intensify its protest, the center has sent additional forces to the state. The state government has also started force lifting the blockade. Now let's take you to Agartala where a Kathak workshop was held to promote the Indian music and dance, especially among the new generation. The event gave a golden opportunity to the youngsters to learn dance from Kathak maestro Pandit Birju Maharaj. Kathak is one of the major classical dance forms of northern India. When etymology translated, the word Kathak means to tell a story. Stylistically, Kathak is a beautiful dance form which emphasizes on rhythmic foot movements, expressions, eye movements, and upper body movement in order to tell a story. Recently, a 4D workshop of Hindustani classical dance Kathak was held in Agartala under the guidance of Kathak maestro Pandit Birju Maharaj. One of the major motive behind organizing the event was to popularize Indian music and dance among the youngsters in order to make them stay connected to their roots. In uh, today's life, younger generation thinks they don't like classical form of Indian music. They say, we don't understand this, this is not our kind of music. But I ask them, do you listen to them? Have you heard them? Saw them? The most of them say, no. So this is a small attempt to show them what is Indian classical dance form is. The workshop has given a chance to Kathak lovers to learn the intricacies of the dance form Pandit Birju Maharaj, who termed the workshop a lifetime opportunity. बहुत दिक्कत होता था यहाँ यहाँ से सीखने के लिए बहुत लेकिन माशंकर सार जी ने पहले टाइम पे महाराज जी को यहाँ पर लाया और हम लोग इतने सारे चीजें सीख रहे हैं उनसे ये ये बहुत बहुत बड़ी बात है हमारे मेरे लिए से क्योंकि देखिए यहाँ का जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं सभी का फिनैंशियली थोड़ी बहुत प्रॉब्लम होते हैं हर साल वो नहीं जा जा पाते हैं दूर तो इस अपॉर्चुनिटी को हम लोग इतने अच्छे से ले पा रहे हैं और इनके इनको दर्शन करना ही हमारे लिए बहुत बड़ी बात होती है द पद्म विभूषण पंडित बिरजू महाराज हु हैज वन मेनी एक्ट्स इन द कथक डांस फॉर्म and has an exceptional command over the hindustani classical music expressed his feelings regarding the dance and how it should be practiced ye yahi sandesh denge ki ek to acche guru ko ke paas jao aur abhyas sahi karo galat na kar lena kali kali speed pakad liyo tum riyaz kar rahe ja rahe ho ki bas zor se pair bolo zor se ghum jao no 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 सौंदर्य क्या है सुंदरता क्या है खूबसूरती क्या है और उसको लेके हमारे हमारे यहाँ आदमियों के नाच को भी कहा परियों का नाच कि परी कोई एक ऐसी चीज़ है जो संसार में नहीं परी एक अलग चीज़ है तो अगर इतनी खूबसूरत ढंग से नाचते थे हमारे बाबू जो अगर चाचा जी कहते जैसी नज़र बन गई क्या कमाल होता तो मतलब ये चीज़ें ज़रूरी होनी चाहिए सच इनिशियटिव आर रेयर इन दिस रीजन एंड शैल श्योरली पुट न्यू लाइफ इन टू द क्लासिकल आर्ट फॉर्म With that, we've come to the end of this episode of Roving Report. Do connect with us through our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter at anyindia underscore ani. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get latest news updates from the Northeast. I'm your host Nidhi signing off. Goodbye and take care.